All right, welcome to my political life video blog, and it's time for defending the speech series. Every Wednesday, we're going to try to analyze what is, you know, you know, free speech versus the hate speech. Well, I have no clue whatsoever. Anyways, let's start with this. You might think you're so smart about graduation, gra graduation, was which is this month and the following month, whatever it is. People, people across the country, even my hometown, Omaha, Nebraska, have graduations spreading on around. Trust me about that. And what have I told you that you might think it's so smart it's going to be groundbreaking about this one, about commencement speech, about this one? So, who knows can be civilized? Because as I said last night, last Monday night on Primetime News, Primetime News on the Hallmark Channel, here's what you have been missing. Just listen to the soundbite and see what you think. Be the last people to accept things as they are, and the first people to stand up and change them for the better. Invest in the importance of this moment and share Every... For this movement? Yeah. Well, of course. Uh. In the importance of this moment and cherish it. Savor the taste of your triumphs today. Don't just swallow the moment whole without digesting what has actually happened here. Oh well. Don't we don't we all know that? Swallow this whole moment. But well, guess what? Whatever happens to this part of this commitment speech about this one could be a swing or just could be a hit or miss this or can be civilized about this we're in a moment uh, where humanity and decency are being eroded Jacob where Tepper basic is. systems and law and justice are under attack where the very under notion attack. of empirical fact is being attacked and corroded uh, uh, hold up hold up hold up Jacob Tapper that is not what I heard of it's not a commitment commitment speech it's a it's it's a cosmic commitment hate speech. And that is wrong. These are these are students. These are, you guessed it, campuses. Commencement speech, graduation. Either you graduate in high school or grade school or college campuses, whatever it is. You call this one? Jacob Tepper, you don't want to know about this one. Like what comes next? Next uh, list of things. Here's why. Time when our politicians try to conflate the terms refugee and terrorist. Refugee and terrorist. Shut up. This is gonna be. Uh, this is gonna be worse. I'm yes, yeah, seriously. This is gonna be worse. In in that angle, we all know that the groundbreaking, ridiculous speech, commencement speech is just uh, part of the process, it's just hate, hate speech, and and you know why, because anyone can be civilized about this one, uh -huh. civilized about this one, listen to this, communism or jihadism, or any other external force or foreign power, it is our own willingness to tolerate dishonesty in service of party and in pursuit of power. Pursuit of power? No. Will you want me to analyze this for you? These are the people living their own their living living on their own minds about commencement speech. And what if I what if I told you that everybody wants to graduate this? And some of the some of them is so hard to find. Listen to my words on last Monday night's primetime news and see what it comes from anyways. By the way, there were no super gulps in, mm. in the audience at all. They were not allowed at that gra at graduation. Oh come on. I mean if these oracles are leading gradu graduates into the future. I hope they all have Google Maps on their phones. All right. 
I mean, it, you, you got to come up with something original. Dream the impossible dream. Oh, no, that was taken. Mm -hmm. You got to have something original. It's like, be all that you can be, you know, find courage, uh, dream, find your dream, follow your dream. When we come back. No, I don't. Still there. That's what I just said on Primetime News last Monday night on the Hallmark Channel. And give me one of the reasons why. Because you don't listen to words that everybody just says. Say something very nice. Not political, but nice. Okay? Just remember that for from now on. When you go, but, but when the next time you go out a, on a graduation day and you want to hear a cover speech uh, cover your ears I don't want to hear this at all that's it the end I don't want to hear that all right next <laughs> now you might think it's so smart about YouTube removing the GOP cat candidates candidates the deportation bus advertisement for hate speech and then put it back up. Well, guess what? I will do something about this on my Wordplay Wednesday later on tonight on the, on the Blaze Radio Network. And you might think you're so smart about this one. About this one. This is this according to theblaze.com. And so is the Hill. Hill.com as well. Georgia State. You guessed it. Georgia State Senate Michael, Women, Michael Williams has made a huge wave wave of his de deportation bus ad. And for several hours, and that's why YouTube has taken the video down for violating its hate speech policy. And it tries to put it back up before then. <laughs> before then. And that's why William said a huge statement. It says, just for today, they are, they are doing everything they can to keep our message from reaching voters with the truth. So what? And they, they will not silence him or silence him or nor our movement. <clears throat> so why is this going to be huge for the story? I'll tell you what the story is. That's why he was running for governor. And his campaign created creating a whole advertisement promoting the deportation bus tour and Georgia's to, to, to Georgia sanctuary sanctuary cities and during that time he will fill up the bus with Ill illegal immigrants to send them back to uh, back to where they came from and what about some of the viewers know about this? Well, especially messages on this on the bus windows, such as "Follow me to Mexico," you know, murder murderers, radio, the R word, kidnappers, all that crap, all that crap. So that's why YouTube tried to remove. That's right. That's right, the video, and putting it in its place to take it down for violating YouTube's policy on hate speech, but it returns to the site without explanation later in the afternoon, and that's why YouTube's policy on hateful contact, content, that's why the site will not support the content that promotes con don't violence against individual groups individuals or un groups or on race or ethnic origin religion religion disability you name it and that's why it could be crossing the whole darn line and according to this one from Fox News YouTube spokesman just t told that sometimes they make the huge wrong call on the on this content that is flagged by our community for you know the mess massive volumes of videos but it is not controversial 
but it's a it's a way of life. Brian Kemp, uh, Kemp, yeah, I think he's another uh, us Republican candidate in the governor state state of Georgia. Says that everybody knows has been offended some of the viewers of his advertisement featuring him holding a gun for some felt threatening men or menacing manner while taking a young man about dating his daughter and you know what happens is local news stations were flooded with complaints and that is why it's being censored by the Federal Communications Commission known as FCC well Wow, I cannot believe my eyes and ears. So I better find out, find out what it is later on tonight on work, uh, for this uh, Wordplay Wednesday segment, only on, only on the Blaze Radio Network. But anyways, the moral of my political life video blog story is this. Knowing to be or not to be, that is the question. Quote this from Shakespeare. To... To, to free speech or not to free speech that that is the question but the only thing that happens is what if I told you if commencement speech for this graduation thing is no clue whatsoever or whatever happens to this YouTube taking down this deportation bus advertisement that could be a wrongdoing well well, we us conservatives will not be silenced at all. We us conservatives will not be silenced. I'm sorry. Because if you try to defend the speech, well, guess what? It takes a, takes a um, job to do this or have, have fun drinking coffee. You see? Now you know the rest of the rest of the Doran story. So be it. And as always, that's my political life video blog story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>